Apparently my friends think I suck at hitting. Man, this guy really sucks, huh? So they stole my credit card and bought every training aid they saw on Instagram without even looking at the price. Yeah. Rope bat. Connect, correct, and perfect your swing. This is just gonna be terrible. Hitting system for a perfect swing and you just swing it? Eric, come here now. What is going on? I need to know I don't if this even is know good. You didn't even explain to me what we were doing. Right, step in the box and hit with it. I love that you don't even explain anything. The rope, bat, okay. Oh! How did you hit that at me? <laughs> what is this? Is it good? It's, it's, is it good? <laughs> is it good? It's terrible. It's a rope, bat. What do you think? <laughs> God, All right, my fuck. turn. My turn. Did he bent the I handle? I didn't bend nothing. It just says you swing and you can figure out if you're casting or pushing or... Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're not even, you're not even <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, try one off a tee. <laughs> See, I hit a four. That's trash. Oh, oh, he broke it. It attacked, did you see that? That is a tank. Yeah, yeah. You, we broke that in like 15 swings. Is it actually like? Dude, that's broken. I feel like it's fixed. That's not fixed, dude. That's what are you talking about? It's, it's your turn. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm gonna laugh so hard if you hit a ball and it doesn't break. The whole point of rope bat, you wanna like dangle it like this? Get momentum? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't even hit the ball. You can't even hit the ball. It's gonna break. Important information do not hit baseballs and softballs. Where does it say that? It says right it's, there. Uh, yeah, no baseballs and softballs. We fucked we that up. Yeah. <laughs> Important information. I know, but you yeah. gotta put that at the top. Okay. There's people hitting balls with that. I don't think that's a baseball though, but. Dude, is that, he's wearing a bat? That's a kill. No, he's not. <laughs> Dude, this is probably like 40 bucks on Amazon, There's honestly. no way. If it's over 10 bucks, how much is it? $98. What? No. $98? Are you, are you serious? Wait, what? We have to be the only people that bought it. Dude, yeah, we got robbed, bro. I paid for this? <laughs> when did it zero? This, yeah, it's a zero. Well, that's a bust, 0 for 1. Now, I've never seen anything like this next product, but is it any good? Oh, it's heavy, dude. I'm what tired. is in this? This is Derek, my only hitting coach for the Angels, right. and he's gonna review some of these, uh... Where'd you find all this shit? Instagram. Instagram ads. Oh, probably this a hitting like, team. Listen to this. It's a T. Okay. What is that? We're gonna read all the- Oh my God, what just Dude, happened? Dude, you are dead. You've already <laughs> broken it. I don't even know what this is. Like, is it just a T, is it just a T or? What is, oh, it just lit up. I have no idea. I think so that you can hit at night. So this is supposed to light up like those, um, what are those bugs that light up at night? Fireflies. Fireflies, fireflies yeah. So it's basically a firefly of hitting tees. Have you seen this before, first off? No, I haven't seen any of these things before. ZV, ZVT. Do you want like serious answers though? Yeah. Okay. Oh, see that? Do, do you, oh, Whoa. you hit it. Oh! oh. oh. So when I'm so oh. smart. Do you know? Oh. Do you see that? That was all me. He's dumb. Yeah, that's what it is. And then when you put a ball on. Yeah, dude. Different right, color. Got, oh, big leagues. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, fuck. What? Oh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, fuck. You boss. That was tight. <laughs> Can somebody read the instructions, please? It says place the baseball or softball firmly on top to make sure the fiber optic cable is pressed down. Okay, lit up. In the middle of a swing, it's gonna light up and you gotta call out the color as you're hitting the yeah, ball. Yeah, exactly. Actually? Actually, yeah. For the ball. If he or she can't, they most likely pulled their head out of the hitting zone. No way! That's what this is no for? No way! To keep your head locked So you're on telling me! It means you keep your head down on the baseball. Hey. That's definitely what they advertise it Beautiful. for. Is that good? Uh, no. I don't swing like that, I hit well, tanks. That's, that's probably why you can't make barrel to ball contact. What are you talking Just So like... Blue! That's what <laughs> <laughs> This is dog so, shit! What? Why are you? Yeah, Blue. Out. Okay, you're supposed to be faster than that, I think. At contact, my eyes are on the baseball. Like okay. I've seen pictures of me hitting, and it's like right where the ball is. My eyes are looking right at it. Gotcha. I just look at the ball. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> for like a split second, it right. doesn't stay there long. It's set for 0.4 seconds after contact. It can be changed to a very fast 0.1 seconds. So you're very fast. Oh, you're can very we change fast it? normally, right? Press and hold it 10 times. So you go. Press, release, press, release, press, release. Okay, that was 10 times. Yeah, that didn't work. You don't think so? The blue light will illuminate and stay on to let you know you're in program mode. No, no. Nine, 10. 
Did not do the blue. This thing sucks. <laughs> 11. I think this thing's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got their Instagram. It says, uh, batting averages up with a flame emoji. <laughs> Stop. That's not how you're supposed to do it, you jabroni. Oh, 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 oh that's one, that's one. Yes. Yeah, do it again and then wind it to then blue go. and then go one. Yep, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's yeah. it. Red. That's not a tank. To hit tanks, you have to pull your head. 100%. You have to coil yes. and then like look over here. Yep. And then swing. Yep. And then get folded. That's not. No, 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 no. Like that? What kind of <laughs> I didn't look at the ball. You can't. <laughs> that was the tank, right? I mean, that was double. That was 450 dead center. If you want a 450 dead center, you can get it. I'm not going to advertise your shit. All right, Tosh, how much do you think this cost? 249.99. No way, bro. There's no fucking. It lights up. 149. 80 bucks. 80 will be pushing it. Maybe 70, 80 bucks. This is 400 dollars. There's no fucking chance. 114 in the That's close. That's close. Also close. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not bad. I'm shocked. It's tough. <laughs> Dude, it's actually not bad for quality of it. I think if you try to use the fiber optics to keep your head on the ball, it's gonna stop your rotation through the ball. And 100%. You're, just, you're, just gonna, you're gonna lose power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been shown that you can't actually see the ball the last 10 feet or whatever it is. So you would not be using this to train? I would not be using this. You no. would not be using this, no. okay. I think you can literally just Keep your head down on the baseball and know where you're looking. <laughs> Presented as a T, so five out of 10. Yeah, it's a little expensive for a T for me, four out of 10. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five. You wanna fall on it real quick? <laughs> so why did he actually do that? <laughs> that was a durability test and it's 10. You, you tackled it and it Okay, survived. next product, let's go. We'll call that a blue pit. Half out of two. Well, that product was pretty useless for hitting and so is this next product, but that's because it's actually for pitchers. Wild promises of helping you throw harder and strike out more hitters all while experiencing less arm pain. That sounds pretty ridiculous. Oh wait, it's four out. It's actually legit. Let me show you. Hey, Connor, I have a question for you. Do you want to throw harder and strike more hitters out? Yes. Cool. Let me show you the new mechanical analysis feature in 4App. All you have to do is upload two videos, and then I will personally review your pitching mechanics and show you the exact throwing drills you need to throw harder and dominate more hitters. And looking at your delivery, when you're rotating, your elbow's getting really high above your shoulder line. So when you're breaking your hands, you're taking your hand kind of back, your thumbs down, you're taking your hand back this way. So when you go to rotate, your elbow can't do anything but climb. So the way I want to work on that is the hip sequence drill. So you're going to hold your hand right here. You're going to get into your like your rotation phase. And you're going to rotate the hip first, but you got to make sure that your palm is facing forward. When you rotate your hip, it's going to activate your scap in this way, and then your arm's going to flip up. And you just turn and throw. Hip first, that'll load everything correctly. You were here, and you like shifted your weight forward first to buy your arm some time. Just rotate the hip and let the arm follow. There you go. So how much do you think that costs? Uh, about $500. It's actually $199. Does that surprise you? Oh yeah. Just search 4App Sports in the App Store or click the link in the description and upload your videos today. All right, Connor, let's see if you can strike me out. That's gross. I guess it really does work. Serious lumber, serious results. <laughs> can we get a knife or something? Is this a King and Juco bat? So <laughs> Oh. Okay, this oh, is like a, wait, oh, hold on. I've seen these. I've actually seen this before, oh, okay. but I've skipped past every every time. So you're supposed to hit it on the flat spot? Correct. It's I, like and cricket. Also the... <laughs> I'm gonna guess it has to do with uh, contact quality. It makes it lighter, and so you can basically just work on the the path. You're not cutting balls, slicing through stuff. So, so why not just swing a lighter bat? The shape of the bat changes, whether it's shorter or whatever. The same length of a regular bat, but just lighter weight. Who could use that? Child. No, you want to hit line drives. That was too high. What? You want launch angle? No, not with this. Not with this bat, dude. Dude, the, you serious? What? what? I know what I'm talking about. I'm a hitter. What? what Bunt? You got to throw line drive. That's not a line drive. Oh, flat like this, you want to hit it as even as possible. We're trying to hit delicious seeds. You see that? Hellacious seeds. Eric was sitting over there flip. and just like giving me a flip and I was supposed to hit it like... Did you see that? And he said, yeah, good swing, because you hit it straight. Sensei Sim, baby! How would that be any different than a regular baseball bat? That's my, that was my concern, too. It's a good swing. But you oh, want that sound, we though, have, you know what we have, that, we have that on camera. Soft tosses for the birds, you know? <laughs> We're gonna have the machine with that. 
All right, this shit is for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> you bunting? Yeah. Soft. It's a terrible bunt. I don't get how this is like, what? It turns the bat. Why is it faster? 10 speed up. I don't know how to do this. That was 78. It says 65. Serious? <laughs> you fuck yeah. <laughs> King of bunting, baby. <laughs> I think I lose every time I do this. <laughs> Not for game use with hard baseballs. Oh. <laughs> I feel like Eric. I know what he feels like now. This is my favorite day in the in the whole fucking year. I'll be fine, but like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! My right hand! Oh! oh dude! Holy shit! I'm so fucking good. I barreled the ball. Stop, dude. The first swing I took, you I can't even get the fucking seat. bunt down, you. F what color was it? Yellow. $79? 79? No 80 shot. bucks? No, no, no. Do you think it's this more is, than that? This is like $200. 80 bucks. A good wood bat is like what, 300 bucks? No. How much? Two, you're such a fucking PO, bro. $189. No way. 109, see, I, I fucking told you. Listen to me. So it's more expensive than a regular bat. 4.6. First decimal, First decimal we've had. Score. Okay, all right. Yep, I, definitely, I definitely have more major league hits really? and more NPB hits. Okay. So would you be using this? Uh, no, because I don't, still don't understand what it's for. Half bat is a miss for me. 0.5 out of 3. Next up is this tiny package. What a package here. Jesus Christ. Derek, you look very that. Thank you. Rip Grip Pro. Beautiful. Never seen it. Never seen it? I assume this is something to put like on your fingers. Well, I'm used to seeing like the, I'm used to seeing like that's the what I thought it was, or whatever. I don't think that's what it is. Two fingers intended to be worn on the top hand to lift the index and middle fingers away from the bat. This causes the batter to rely on the gripping strength of the ring and pinky fingers during the swing. It will create the palm up, palm down theory longer through the zone. Because of this, the batter may achieve fast rotation of the bat. I've actually seen this a bunch, just not like an official tool. Okay. I've seen it with like little pieces of PVC pipe that you put your fingers on. I've also seen guys put uh, just like layers of tape on their bat. Is that beneficial for the swing? Like, do I you want to be grabbing here to lead? Yeah, so like, you'll talk, you'll see a lot of guys talk about like, um, throwing or skipping a rock. Yeah. That's kind of how they want this back arm to work. So it's more kind of this action. Uh, I see. Or as opposed to the ball, you know, kind of rotating around in those fingers. Like hold that angle yeah. as long as possible. So if I'm grabbing with the pinky uh -huh. coming through it, that's kind of the idea. Yeah. All right. So there's actually potential merit yeah, to this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rolled over. Correct. How do I roll over on a thing that's supposed to make me not roll over? I assume they'd want you to think about um, putting the pressure on your bottom two fingers. Uh I rolled over. I think this is a clear indication that I suck. What, uh, how much do you think it costs? I would hope that's not more than $12. I think it's like $24.99. It's $24.99 actually? Yes. Okay, 7.2. Would you use this with some of your players? If they needed that certain thing, then yeah, yeah. probably. You could also just use tape, so. Yeah, for a dollar. Yes. Maybe big things do come in small packages. 1.5 for four. The next product makes some of the most insane claims I've ever heard from a training product. Lefty swing bats, okay. Embrace the swag. Do we know what these are? Uh, bat speed trainers. Underload trainer, 20% overload. So they give a program here, 10 overload swings, 10 underload swings, top of your strike zone, bottom of your strike zone, and you're supposed to do that for eight weeks. They guarantee 10% increase in your exit velocity. So that means that if your exit velocity is 100, in eight weeks, your exit velocity will be 110. It's tough. Could it be possible? 100%. Kristen, I've been told that you are uh, attempting a exit velocity challenge. I have the tool just for you. Will you come hit? Sure. Cole, I've heard that you're also in a competition with Kristen to see who can gain the most exit velocity. Is this true? No comment, but but I do want to work on my exit velocity. Okay. Okay, that's all I needed. I got a swing speed monitor here. We're gonna measure my swing speed before trying these bats. We also have the exit velocity. 80 miles an hour exit, 69 miles an hour swing speed. Nice. Like, like a, that's a great swing. 63, 53. Okay. 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 
57. So it wants me to take 10 overload swings. How heavy is that? It's pretty damn heavy. This thing is so heavy. I actually kind of like the overload bat. Are you going to embrace the swag? I'll see. Oh my God, <laughs> what a tagline. Okay, underload bat. It definitely does not feel very nice off the bat. Have you tried hitting it on the barrel? <laughs> it feel a little bit better. That felt way better, right? <laughs> The bat actually feels significantly lighter. I'm trying to beat 69. 71. I mean, two miles an hour and 20 swings. Now, one thing though is I've now taken like 25 swings, so I'm significantly more warmed up. I did beat my swing speed though. The fiber optics are already coming out of our tee. 65 eggs of ELO and 53 swing speed, right? That had to have a read. 32. That, that feels right. Feels wrong. This is bullshit. 70! That's Went up. <laughs> that went a up. lot. That went up. Clearly it works. It's rough, but work. I think that it worked work. great. And really that's what it's all about is the exit field going up. So you did increase. How much do you guys think? 100 bucks each, 200, let's say. These things are typically pretty expensive. I'll go uh, 180. $80. $220. With the swag? I'm gonna go $69.99. $250. No way. No way. Okay, I would not pay $250. That changes. $250. Okay, I was pretty close on that. You could do it for much cheaper. Like if you just put tape on the end of a regular bat. For $250, I'm gonna spend that on a really nice gym. I do think there's validity to training this way, overload, underload. I do it in throwing all the time with weighted balls and I found good success with it, so. But you would use these for uh... I don't know if I'd use these exact ones, but this concept, the yeah, concept 100%. Yeah. Five out of 10. I'm gonna go with six. Seven, nine. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10 usability. I kind of, I kind of like them. <laughs> <laughs> 2.5 out of five, so I'm hitting 500. Am I buried bonds yet? Nope, but we still have three products to go. Hit Dr. MD. I don't like where this is going already. Oh my God. Something you wear, maybe? No, Jesus. Okay. Um, it's like a little kid's toy. Wait, is this? This is definitely plastic. This is gonna break. Looks like a roadside okay. flare setup. It just shows this. So you clip it onto the, there we go. And then this guy goes in. Now what? Um, I feel like you're not supposed to use it. Oh. So that you hit without without hitting the thing? I would assume, but if you're hitting this, hit with a ball there, you're in big trouble. I think it's gonna go the other way. Oh, that seems very difficult. Wait, how would I even hit? Wait, does this have to go lower? Purple. Mm. Well, the fact that we don't know what it is is a tough start. The fact that it goes on a tee is another uh, strike against it. In general, not a big fan of the tee. I would say it's the equivalent of uh, pitching drills where you flick your wrist, where it really doesn't do a whole lot. What is it for? I'm gonna guess it has something to do with uh, swing direction and not rolling over the ball. But and how would I ever hit the red part? Maybe I... Should we scan it? Oh, it gives us a playlist of YouTube videos. So it does go on the outside. Sometimes players will stand like up against the fence and try to swing to like keep their hands inside the Correct. ball and not hit the fence. Yeah. If I have any sort of direction to my swing whatsoever, I'm never gonna hit the you red. You would never hit it. So if I don't have direction to my swing. Correct. So the goal that what they want is for you to stay inside the ball and have good direction. Okay. Through the middle of the field rather than pulling off, rolling over stuff. I'm gonna. <laughs> $42. I'm gonna say like $98 for this thing. This Beautiful. was $90. I will say two things. One, for a little kid maybe. Second, I like that there's like a progression to it. You can make it easier to harder, so that's right. a nice little addition. 5-1. I think as a youth tool. You, for the youth, maybe higher. I would not use it with more advanced athletes. If they're having a problem of hitting the red part, they're probably not very good to begin with. And that pretty much describes me. Three for six. But I still need a lot of help, and this next product promises to deliver. Oh no. It's supposed to be like that? Pro swing. Why is everything pro with something? Six. Doctor, pro. Don't just feel your improvements, hear them. RBI Pro Swing's unique swoosh sound provides instant auditory feedback. Jesus. Nope. It gets stuck. Struggling with getting your hands through the zone? Say goodbye to that problem forever. Our tool is specifically engineered to help you master the art of quick hands. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Explosive power instantly. Why wait to unleash your full Sounds potential? Sounds like a Viagra ad, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can think of is you're wanting that, like, sand noise to occur out in front of the plate rather than deep. You do that, yeah. you're gonna hear it behind you. Whereas if you do, I mean, I still kind of hear it. Yeah, I think you'd want to delay it as long as possible. Right. It's gonna make it you more likely to release it. Cause right. like the inertia at the end is pushing right. it out. Because of that, you're forced to like hold that kind of 90, 90 angle and then release it out in front. I see. This tool would make it harder to do it. The weight is going to make it more likely right. for you to do it poorly. They're charging like 70 bucks for this thing. Jesus, 32. $32, I think 70. How much was it? 40 okay. bucks. I don't know. I feel like a donut's a lot cheaper than that. Like if you're using this in the on This thing circle. would break very quickly. Enough with complicated, expensive training tools that take ages to set up and understand. To be fair, it was one of the easier ones. We figured it out. Except we couldn't get it we over the, get bat. It the bat. Yeah, swing and a miss. Three for seven. Hopefully this last product can save me. Pewaukee, Wisconsin, Hickory Street. Swing. No. I don't like where this is going. Swing Grail helps me stay inside and take a good path to the ball. I feel like the picture that they have on this is just not what you want to see out of a swing. Or like wraps around your arm and shoulder or something like that. Yep, that is correct. Wait, is this supposed to come off when I swing? Wait, hold on. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, okay. I wonder if it's supposed to slide off without breaking the Velcro. Because every time I hit with it, how would it not come undone? If the bat comes here. Oh, that could be it. Is that a good scoop? Yeah, sure. Let's see if I can do it. Hey, break? I didn't break the Velcro. Maybe it's good for me because I, maybe I cast my hands. I don't know. If it doesn't feel right, that means it's probably doing the right thing. Yeah. So for someone like me who like opens up right away, mm -hmm. it would come off early as opposed to staying connected. Do you think it'd be a good training aid? For somebody who had my problem, probably. I literally was the guy who would get too far away from his body. I assume yeah. this is what you want in the swing is to stay in this connected position. Yeah, you want your, kind of your shoulders rotating, your arms kind of being connected to it until they release. Hey, Juco Snorlax, where is he? Hey, Eric, can we get you down here for a quick sec? <laughs> <laughs> it like literally came off way back here. Oh. And then you like cast it out. Oh, it's because I'm too jacked. The reason why Trevor has so much success with him up in the zone, because Eric gets super long here, it gets like this, and then it's just like fist hands. I'm pretty jacked. <laughs> so Eric could benefit from this. Eric could benefit from a lot of things. I could see it working on two things. One, the direction, because it did look better when you were thinking about like being more linear yeah. with it. I can also see it being a connection drill, but if you're not feeling connected, then I'm not sure how. Is that a swing rail? So like, you know, you just endorse it? Who? Oh. Swing rail helps me stay inside and take a good path to the ball. Cody Bellinger, do you uh, do you agree with that? I do think you create a more efficient path. How much do you think this thing costs? Nineteen eighty-five. Twenty bucks. Forty bucks. Eighty dollars. That's what I think. How much did it cost, Paul? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Wow, I was way off on that. I'm glad it did not cost eighty dollars. Would you use this at the pro level? I could see it be somebody at that level using it. Okay, so I need this training tool, this training tool, got this training tool on the tee, and I'm guaranteed to be a good hitter now, right? Still snapped. Three for eight ain't bad. So am I the best hitter ever now? Nope, definitely not.